Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating this decorative welcome sign perfect for your home entryway. Now this piece will go perfectly with the shutters that I made last week. Now this sign is made with real wood and solid metal hardware, which makes this a quality and sturdy piece. Best of all, this project uses items from the Dollar Tree and wood that can be acquired super cheap. So for your convenience, I've provided the list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below. Now I'm super happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my amazing subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor today to my channel and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into that project. Now for this project, we'll need one of these welcome mats from the Dollar Tree. We'll need four of these double hooks that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. We'll need a bunch of this eucalyptus greenery from Walmart. We'll need some buffalo check ribbon that I had on hand from Amazon. And we'll need a piece of wood that is two and a half inches by eight feet long from a hardware store or your local Habitat for Humanity. So the first thing we want to do is to take our bat and a ruler and what we want to do is determine the top and the bottom edges. And we're trying to determine what the distance will be for our frame. Now in this case, I decided that it should be about three inches around, so I'm just marking this on the back as a guide. Now this step is totally optional, but it can be helpful for those not familiar with framing. So then I'm gonna flip it right back over and we kind of decided what we wanna do for our frame. So I'm just gonna use these paint sticks to help me determine the sizing. I'm just using these as a guide. So I'm just gonna lay them out around my welcome word and I wanna make sure that, that it's centered. Now, right now I'm just kind of eyeballing this cause I wanna make sure that it's right in the center. Now, once it is centered, I'm going to go ahead and note the inner measurements. So the first measurement we're going to take is the inner side of the side piece and it measures nine and a quarter inches. Then we're going to take the inner measurement of the top and bottom pieces. And these measure 21 inches. Now we're going to use these measurements to determine our wood cuts. So my wood is going to be two and a half inches wide. So for the 21 inch pieces, which are these long pieces along the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that two and a half inches twice to accommodate those side pieces. So my total length of each piece will be 26 inches. And now for the side pieces, they measured nine and a, half, nine and a quarter inches. Now, since these will be sandwiched between the top and the bottom pieces, we won't need to add any additional length. Then I'm gonna take these out and use them to cut my wood. And here is my wood all cut and ready to go. So now I'm just laying them out around my mat to test the fit. And everything looks good. So now we can go ahead and just assemble those pieces together and secure them. Now I'm gonna be using this wood glue that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna apply it to each end of those short side pieces. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sandwich them in between the two long pieces on each end. Now to make sure these have a secure bond, I'm gonna use these pressure clamps on each end while the piece dries.
And once it's all clamped, I'm gonna sit it to the side to dry for a few hours. Now once it's dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my clamps and then I'm gonna make sure that everything is secure. Now I wanna reinforce the connection, but I didn't have any three inch screws on hand. So what I'll do is be, I'll use my staple gun to make sure all the connections are secure. So what I'm gonna do is apply four or five staples along the seam to strengthen the bond between the two pieces. And then I'm gonna repeat this with all four corners. And now it's time to stain. So now I'm gonna go ahead and protect my work surface, grab some gloves, the stain I'm gonna use, and a rag. You wanna make sure that your stain has been mixed and ready. Now this stain has a rich brown color and is called Jacobian by Minwax. Now we're then going to go ahead and start applying the stain and we're going to end up applying two coats of the stain to the frame. Now my wood has a lot of knots which will give a lot of detail so you want to make sure that stain is penetrated in all those cracks and crevices of the wood. And don't forget you got to get those inside and outside edges as well. Now once that second coat is complete, sit this in an area to dry, preferably under a fan. Now once that has sat and dried for a couple of hours, our, we're gonna lay out our frame and it looks great. We're gonna go ahead and grab our mat and we're gonna lay our frame on top and we wanna center it on the top of that mat. Now once it's centered, we're gonna take our hot glue and we're gonna apply a small dot of hot glue to each side just for a temporary hold. Now once that's held, we can grab it and flip it over and press it all down. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our staple gun and we're just gonna place one staple in each side of the mat, securing it to the frame. Then I'm gonna flip it back over. I wanna make sure that everything is still centered and if everything looks good, We'll go ahead and flip it back over and continue to add more staples around the frame, securing that mat into place. And then we're gonna take our X-Acto or utility knife and trim off all the excess of the mat. And here is our mat all secured to that beautiful frame. So now I'm gonna add these hooks to the bottom of the frame. Now I was surprised to find these Libby hooks in the laundry supply aisle of the Dollar Tree and I'm so happy that I saved them for this project. Now if you can't find these, you can also use these utility hooks from the Dollar Tree as well and you can find these ones in the hardware section. Now these screws that came with this are a bit long, but we'll be snipping off the ends once they're fully applied. So what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and place the hooks along the bottom and we wanna space them evenly. Once they're nice and spaced, we're gonna use a Sharpie to mark all of the drill holes. And then I'm gonna take my drill and I wanna drill pilot holes on the marks we just made.
And then we're going to start applying our hooks with the supplied screws. And here are all of our hooks in place. Then all we have to do is flip it over and what we'll do um, as a final step is we'll clip off the edge of the screws that are protruding from the frame. So now we'll work on our decorative greenery. So what I'm going to do is take the eucalyptus bunch and I'm going to divide it so that there's three branches on each side. Now I'm just going to cut off that odd center one. Then I want to evenly spread those branches and once they're nice and even I'm going to apply um, just a little bit of hot glue to that center and I'm going to add some floral wire in the middle there just for a little bit of added bit of security. Then I'm going to take some of that buffalo check ribbon and in order to make my bow I'm just going to start wrapping it around creating four loops on each side. And once we have our four loops we can cut off that ribbon. And then we're just going to bunch up that middle and we're going to tie it in place with a piece of scrap jute string. And then I'm going to cut off another small piece of that buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to fold under those wire edges and all I want to do is just wrap it around the center of my bow and then hot glue it. And once that hot glue dries, we can go ahead and spread out the loops and form our bow. And now that our bow is ready, we could just apply some hot glue to the center of the eucalyptus branches and apply our bow. Then we'll flip it over and we'll apply a little bit more glue and then we'll place a scrap piece of that ribbon right on top to secure it. And then you want to clip any of those exposed stem pieces that may be visible. So now I'm going to grab my welcome frame and I'm testing the placement that I want on our welcome sign. Now I wanted the greenery to be interchangeable so I took a piece of a wire hanger and I'm going to bend it to conform to kind of a hook. So I'm going to start by bending the two sides in to form a little U shape. And then I'm going to bend, um, go about an inch up and then I'm going to bend it down and I'm going to form kind of like a hook that will go over the edge of the frame. And once that fits over the edge of the frame we'll turn those bottom ends up and that will be the hook that will hold our greenery in place. And there we go, we have a hook. And finally, to finish this off, we can go ahead and hook our greenery right on. Now to hang our piece, I'm just going to apply three of these picture hangers from this kit that I got from the dollar store. And here is the finished project. Okay, I am so in love with how this piece turned out. And this cute Dollar Tree welcome rug really received a total upgrade and now this piece looks so high end. 
Now it was a total score to find these Libby hooks at the Dollar Tree and they fit perfect into this project. And I think that adding this little touch of greenery really makes this sign feel even, even more cozy. And now this piece is ready to hang in your entryway, your foyer, your kitchen, mudroom, wherever you like it to display in your home. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She So Craft DEE -E on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.